If you guys are looking to buy some cheap and reliable MT, head on over to AOLA.com and use code YBC at checkout for a discount. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's YBC, and I am back. Bring another video, and in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys the best way to prepare for the upcoming Pokemon Market update in NBA 2K20, my team. Before we hop into the video and everything, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys go on in and consider hitting that subscribe button. Right now, we are less than 300 subscribers away from hitting 90,000. So if you guys are new, help us achieve that 90K goal today. And also, if you guys could do me a real quick favor and drop a like on this video, that would be greatly appreciated. The first thing that I do want to talk about in this video is the token market update as a whole and when I expect for 2k to update it and what I expect in the next update. I honestly don't think 2k will update the token market in a minimum of one and a half to two weeks. I think that right there is going to be like a good time frame guys for an update and that is at minimum. So it could be two to three weeks, could be even four weeks, ultimately I don't know but I do think that it is going to be a one and a half to two week minimum waiting period of us possibly getting a token market update in the token market. At the time this video right here will be going up on YouTube with the same day I'm recording it, which is June 17th. And I do want to bring up that date, guys, because last year back in MA2K19, my team, on June 28th, 2K did give us a crazy update in the token market. They gave us a ton of new opals, and also they gave us the 99 everything limited galaxy opals like LeBron, Kobe, and Jordan in the token market on June 28th. So that right there, guys, June 28th right now is about a week and a half to two weeks away. So that's kind of my estimated time period right there, guys. A minimum of one and a half to two weeks, I feel like, is the correct time to, that we're going to be waiting for possibly a token market update. Now, when it comes to what I expect for 2K to put in the next upcoming token market in NBA 2K20, my team, I expect for, obviously, them to put in some new opals in the token market. And I also do expect for them to put in the GOAT cards in the token market. Just like I mentioned last year, 2K brought those 99 everything limited Gallus to in the market. I also do expect for 2K to bring some GOAT cards into the token market. Hopping straight into it right here to the GOAT collection of my team. There is going to be a GOAT reward for this, for this collection. You are going to be able to lock in all these cards right here and get a collection reward for this collection. And let's be honest guys, this collection right here is almost impossible to complete unless you spend hundreds of, hundreds of dollars on a game or you spend a hundred plus hours weekly i guess you could say on the game because you're going to need to accumulate a lot of mt to get the cards on auction block like magic johnson and also complete a set for Triom du jabbar and you also have to grind the game a ton spending hours and hours and hours grinding bird and kobe bryant another thing that i do want to mention about these cards right here being in an update they will likely be right here in the actual token market where the update they where they update the pack. I feel like these packs right here will be replaced with the pack with one of the go cards just like 2K did last year. It's been a long time since these packs right here have been updated. And, and I more so see 2K putting go cards right here rather than putting in new packs. I do bring that up because the token market right here in my team, you're able to open up right here no matter what board you're at on, on a token market. As you can see right here, I am on the Emerald board on my PC squad and I've not redeemed any of these cards. That is because guys, I feel like redeeming cards right now at this age in the year is just not worth it. You know, I feel like me grinding tokens for a potential go card in token market is a much better decision than investing into Emerald cards and buying my way all the way up to the Opal board. Because getting, getting into this token market right here where potentially there will be GOAT Opal cards I don't need to invest anything. I don't need to work my way up at all. I can just go in here right here and boom. If they updated, I might have enough tokens to get an Opal Go card. Although guys, at the end of the day, I honestly don't know what 2K is going to be doing with the token market and whether or not 2K is going to be putting in Opals, denying everything Opals like they did last year, Go card this year. I honestly don't know 100%. But for those of you guys who do want to get a head start on the next token market update for Galaxy Opals and maybe Go cards, maybe, you guys have came right here to the right video because I myself I'm gonna be giving you guys some tips to help you guys prepare so moving along right here in this video I'm now going to be talking about three tips that I do have written down on my phone that will help you guys prepare for this upcoming token market update and the first tip that I do have for you guys is completing the right collections for tokens 
With that being said, guys, I have written down on my phone the best and the worst collection to complete in my team. So I'm right here going to be starting off with the best collections to complete. So diving straight into it right here. Some of the best ones to complete right here are the current series number two ones right here. You can complete these right here for 20 tokens. And all these cards right here are very, very cheap in the market, in the auction house. That is due to the auction house being deflated. The next few sets that you guys should be completing are flash number two flash number four and also flash number five you get right here for flash number five 200 tokens flash number four is 125 tokens and for flash number two you do get 100 tokens i feel like that right there is a good amount of tokens considering how much mt you'll be putting in right here to these flash promos and also flash number seven this one right here guys for 200 tokens as well is a great collection to complete alongside that when it comes to these flash promos right here the cards inside them are usable like i use currently go on my ps4 gold squad and i also use them right here on my pc gold squad take a quick look right here at my gold squad right here on my pc as i can see right here karenlinko is coming off the bench also flash number seven Gallows Yoba Clay Thompson. You guys kind of saw him, and I will show you guys again right here. Clay Thompson also is also my backup shooting guard on my squad. The Flash players, guys, in the sets are really, really good cards. So you guys will most definitely be able to use them on your GOAT squads. And also, you're, you're going to be getting tokens for locking in the collection. So I do think, guys, Flash 2, 4, 5, and 7 are the best ones alongside the current series number two to lock in and complete now for those of you guys who have completed every single current series number two and also flash numbers like i mentioned two four five and seven the next promo that i would say is the best to complete are the fan favorite ones right here the fan favorites do cost a lot of mt i'm not gonna lie guys but you do get 200 tokens and same thing goes for the flash ones right here for the fan favorites all these cards right here will likely be making your gold squad Bobo is a top 10 power forward. Taco Fall right here is borderline a top 10 center for the fan favorite number one. For fan favorite number two right here, guys, Dallas Double Michael Porter Jr. right here is a top, I want to say, five slash seven small forward in the game. Galaxy Double Jr. Fitz right here is a top five slash seven point guard in the game. So even though these collections right here do cost a good amount of MT, I feel like they are worth it for 200 tokens just because the players are most definitely usable. Moving on right here in this video to the bad collections that are not worth completing. Those collections are moments of the week ones right here for tokens. These collections right here are just simply way too overpriced for tokens and none of these cards right here are usable. The legacy one right here guys is also not worth completing at all. These cards right here are just simply rare on the auction block and they go for too much MT and same thing guys as I mentioned they're not usable. And also when it comes to these spotlight ones as well. The spotlight ones, again, guys, are very outdated and non-usable cards. And, and the cards on auction block also do go for a good amount of MT. So I would say I would say stay away from the spotlight, stay away from legacy, and stay away from the moments of the week. Moving on right here onto the next topic and tip, tip number two. And this right here is coming from me telling you guys the best game modes for tokens. The best three game modes to play for tokens in no particular order are Kobe Bryant challenges, Larry Bird spotlight challenges, and triple threat online. Taking a look right here at the Kobe Bryant, aka the Black Mama challenges right here, you do get for completing all of these challenges a grand total of 113 tokens because 8 right here for challenge number 2 plus 24 right here for challenge number 7 and also 81 right here for completing all 8 challenges challenge in total will give you 113 tokens. Now completing the challenge right here will only take you around 3 to 4 hours, honestly not that long at all and these challenges right here are very very easy to complete so 3 to 4 hours for over 100 tokens is a massive W. Next up right here moving along to the Larry Bird. But like challenge right here aka the finals ones right here these ones right here does take you around 24 hours in total to complete everything and you do get around 250 tokens for completing every single one right here around that range now i understand guys for 24 hours 250 tokens around that range isn't a lot it, you know per for the time you put into them but you guys do get that galaxy opal larry burke for completing everything and you guys also right here do get a good galaxy opal for completing some of them so I would say that these right here are also great for no money spent players to complete for tokens. Moving along to the last game mode that is great to play and that is this triple threat online game mode right here. 
on average, you'll be making around 15 to 40 tokens per hour playing this game mode right here, guys. I have never gotten in the last, I want to say, two months of me playing the Triple Threat Online game mode. I've never gotten below 15 tokens in an hour. And I also, guys, have not gotten above 40 per hour. So I would say around that range, 50 to 40 tokens per hour is what you're going to be making playing this Triple Threat Online game mode. It really depends how good the boards are when you play this game mode. And also, 2K does have as well some challenge right here in my team some daily free challenges that you guys could do for for playing triple threat online sometimes it's 2x tokens sometimes it is win win a triple threat online game get two tokens for every single win stuff like that so doing that alongside the boards i think that this game mode right here is a great is another great game mode to play for tokens moving on right here to the third and final topic of this video and that is i think right now is a great time to invest into cheap cards inside token collection for example if we take a look at this diamond ryan anderson card right here on an auction block he is going for around four ish thousand mt around that range i most definitely see he's even going for right now two thousand mt i could definitely see this card right here climbing up to eat to over five thousand mt easily because the further we do get away from these the packs being in the market for flash number seven the rarer these cards are, are right here going to be getting and sometimes the budget cards do go up on the auction block a good amount. So if those of you guys have some MT laying around, I would say Ryan Anderson would be a decent card to invest into because this collection right here may go up in price considering it's pretty cheap to lock in for, for only 200 tokens. Same thing goes right here for this Diamond Ray Allen card right here from Flash number 5. Even though Ray Allen is going for pretty cheap on the auction block, he is slowly but surely going to be getting rare and possibly could go up in price. So for those of you guys who have some MT laying around, I would say maybe invest like 50 ish thousand MT. Not a lot of MT, but like 50 ish thousand MT into some of these cheap cards. And maybe one of these cheap cards right here could pop off and go for around 15,000 MT once you get up to the token market. And once there's a price inflation, these cheap cards right here might be going for a little bit more than being cheap. So if you guys have some MT laying around, like I said, 50,000 MT to 70,000 MT, I would say don't invest more than that into these cards. But I would say investing in some of these cards right here would not be a bad idea considering we're due for an update. And once they do update them, you know, these cards right here could potentially skyrocket a little bit in price. So that right there now, guys, is going to do it for this token market preparation video. If this video has helped you prepare for the token market, feel free to let me know down below in the comment section. Also, hit that subscribe button if you if it has helped you guys. Because like I said earlier, right now we are approaching and finishing up that 90,000 subscriber grind and goal. Feel free to let me know down below in the comment section any type of questions you guys do have. And I'll try my absolute best to help you guys out and respond to them as best as I can. At the end of the day, though, guys, guys I do want to wrap up this video by saying... I don't know when 2K is an update, and like I said earlier, I don't know if 2K is going to give us go cards in the token market. But if they do right here, this video right here that I just made for you guys is the best way you guys can prepare for those go cards. Because let's be honest, guys, everybody wants those go cards right now in the game. They are by far the best cards in the entire game. Based off that note, that right there now is going to complete this video. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all love and support. And as usual, and as always, it's YBC, and I'm out. Peace.